last engagement before royal baby, pregnant Kate and Prince William to visit Coventry. Prince William and Kate are set to see the old and new within the UK City of Culture 2021. During the trip, the royal duo will visit Coventry Cathedral, Coventry University and the Positive Youth Foundation, a non-profit organization based in the city centre, which specialises in helping young people across Coventry. Last year, the foundation was awarded the Gold Standard for Investors in People IIP, for its work in helping young people across the Midlands to improve their lives. More recently, the foundation, along with the Cathedral and Coventry University, was heavily involved in Coventry's successful UK City of Culture bid. Notably, the royal visit could be one of the last royal engagements for the Duchess of Cambridge ahead of the birth of her third child, which is due in April. The royal couple will begin the day at Coventry Cathedral, where they will have a short tour, before taking part in the Coventry Litany of Reconciliation. Here, they are also set to meet with members of the choir, along with volunteers at the cathedral's social enterprise, the Rising Café, which provides work and opportunities for those overcoming drug and alcohol addictions. The Duke and Duchess will travel on to Coventry University where they will open the new £59 million Science and Health Building, and meet with students. The groundbreaking new facility is the only facility of its kind in the UK, where students can learn to care for a patient at every stage of their medical experience, from paramedics arriving at their house and their ambulance journey, to their stay in hospital, through to their rehabilitation at home. Prince William was last in Coventry during 2014, when he visited the city's War Memorial Park to unveil the park as the very first in the country to be dedicated as part of the Fields in Trust's Centenary Fields program. The campaign, which is run with the Royal British Legion, aims to safeguard War Memorial Parks, playing fields and green spaces which mark the sacrifice made by those who died in the First World War.